So how many of you, after you go to places like Home Depot and Lowe's and maybe Ace Hardware, and then you come home and all of a sudden you find all of these paint chips in your purse and you're wondering how did they get there and now what am I going to do with them? So I know you guys have a lot of neat things that you've already done with them. You've made tags and different things. But I decided to try something a little different and the size that I used for my little project I'm not done I'm just gonna give you a teaser and maybe you can start looking for different chips to use in your projects but the size that I found these were at um, where were these <laughs> these were at Home Depot and these are for bear now, I was fortunate enough when I went there, they were changing over the colors. And the guy was putting all of these into a big trash bag. And they were putting in new colors. I guess they're seasonal or something. I'm not sure. So I asked him, are you throwing those away? And he said, yes. And I had seen this guy do the, not this particular guy, but I had seen that done over at Lowe's. I think it was last fall, and I just had so much stuff, I, I didn't take them, and I regretted not taking them. So this time, uh, I thought maybe I should take a few. I wasn't going to take them all, because it was like a giant, giant trash bag. But I did get quite a handful. <laughs> and this, uh, this was the size that he was removing, so that's why I got this. So I brought it home, and I'm going, what am I going to do with this? And I like the colors, and the colors that he was removing, they all were in, like, the green, blue-green um, thing. So I thought, this is pretty good. This will work together. So I took two of them, and I didn't cut them. This is the exact size that they were. I took two of them, and then I just sewed them. And I didn't adjust my bobbin on purpose. I left it for fabric because I like... The kind of wonkiness when it's not done right. So I sewed two together and left the top open so it would create a pocket. And then I used, um, I don't know where it is, a little distress tool and I distressed all the edges and then I put a little bit of distressed ink on them. And that's what I did. Then I thought, okay, what am I going to do with them now? That's a good idea, but now what? And then I thought, well, I'll put them together like we did the little journal that we did with the napkins when we used the cardboard and the napkins and that hinge uh, with the fabric that I showed you how to do. So I decided that's what I was going to do with this particular one. So what I did is I did, I forget, it was like six or seven of them. And then I decorated each one on one side only. And then I came in and I put the little pieces of fabric and hinged them together like we did the napkin one. What I did differently in this particular one is I hinged them all together in a row so that I could fold them up. And I'm not completely done, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here is the decorated side. And then here is the hinge. And this is the one that I left uh, undecorated and I just put in... Um, some places to write or to draw or to glue or whatever it is I'm going to do. <laughs> Still not sure. And then I hinged it there. And then I hinged it again there. And I just continued hinging it like that until I got to the end. This one's blank because I haven't had to plan for that. <laughs> And, of course, the back is the same way. You can flip it over, and you have the same thing like that. So that is what I did with this. And 
There's a lot of different things you could do with it. But um, I'm not sure quite how I'm going to finish this particular one off. But I will show it to you when it's completed. <laughs> if I can find the end of this. When it's completed. And then what I did um, on... I'm confusing myself. Okay. Then what I did on the top... <laughs> okay. What I did here on the top of the openings, I put in... I'm going to create a little tag to put in there so you can... Whatever you do. Glue, write, draw. And so each one will have a little tag up there, but they're not finished yet. So that's what I've been up to when it comes to my paint chips. So you might want to get your paint chips out. And, you know, if, if you have six or seven, well, you need like 14 if you want seven pages to do the back. But if you have like, uh, you know, even 12 of um, any one particular shape, you could do it. You could do it with this and, you know, decorate it and leave this blank and, and, or you can do it in these shapes, whatever you have. Even those long, skinny ones, those could be pretty interesting. They could be like a long stem with just a little flower on the tip or something. They could be pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that um, you look at your chips in a different way. Your paint chips. And hope I've inspired you to do something new with them. I'll be back when it's all finished. And hopefully you will have started a project of your own.